we had a situation where these buildings were 28 years old and now we found that we were going to have to replace various aspects of the buildings like the windows and the sliding glass doors and as we considered that what we also realized is that we did not have the funding in place. We had a lot of rot in and around the windows. Uh, once we had decided that the project was necessary uh, you know the board made that decision uh, through uh, about a year of um, going back and forth with experts in different fields. We, uh, we put the project out for bid. There were issues. It was time to do something about it. It really wasn't a renovation. It really was a, a replacement restoration project. We started with everything from demolition to removal of windows to uh, fixing uh, pieces of the construction that were rotted out to putting uh, window, new windows back in to waterproofing them. So that, in, and at the end, we wanted to make sure that we would paint the buildings and bring it back with uh, the code that was up to date uh, in the town of Jupiter. The actual product uh, that we brought to the table is, is uh, CGI from a company that is here in Florida. Uh, we visited uh, the site, uh, the group of the people from the board, as well as some of the owners, and we were impressed with the product. Yeah, the window door and replacement company really brought to the table a set of project management skills uh, and a structural engineering set of skills uh, that none of the other uh, companies could bring to the table. What impressed me the most about the entire restoration project was just how knowledgeable this company is. You look at something where the interior walls that were wet from the exterior uh, weather elements is now no longer wet, it's dry. Their communication with the homeowners was one of the most exemplary things about the project because with, with a project like this, if you don't have the right communication, it's going to fail. They were extremely, extremely cooperative with my company, with myself, in seeing what they could do that still fit within the specifications, the Florida Building Code, or just general engineering design standards. With so many eyes on a project like this and all the homeowners being present for the work, uh, the homeowners have a large say in what is done, when it's done, and sometimes how it's done. And again, for a project like this, I think communication is key. Communication between the engineers and the contractors and communication between the managing parties and the homeowners. The quality of the work, I felt, was excellent. Instead of having a lot of people running through your house that created chaos, these people were good, they were considerate, they were clean and they were prom. Uh, they started with the owner on a set of dates, they finished with the owner on time, and then they came back and made sure that the owner was happy with the work that was performed. In a community renovation, it's key to build relationships with homeowners so they feel comfortable throughout the whole project. So I'm here to see it from the beginning, the middle, and the end. They actually took the windows out from the outside uh, rather than take them out from the inside. So therefore we had less of an impact and they designed that process. So what we did was we put together a finish team who would go in after we did the outside work and actually do it the way the owner needed it done. They started with the owner on a set of dates, they finished with the owner on time, and then they came back and made sure that the owner was happy with the work that was performed. And they've installed in excess of 900 plus windows to date very successfully. I was extremely impressed, and still am, with the team. You know, we didn't have to worry about anything. There's no, there's no arguing about the bill um, from the beginning to end. You know, we, they send us a, a bill and we pay it, and we don't have to worry about it. So that's that's really really helpful, uh, and it had been helpful throughout the entire project. We saw all of them every day, where they were giving us a recap of what was coming down. They really did live by their schedule. Everybody had such a tight process that all of a sudden they weren't noticeable any longer. But what we realized is we had to come at this uh, solution in a different way that the owners could accept it and realize that it was beneficial both from fixing the building up and from their asset investment. They started with the owner on a set of dates, they finished with the owner on time, and then they came back and made sure that the owner was happy with the work that was performed. Uh, from a board perspective, they've met with the board on a regular basis. From an owner perspective, they met each and every owner individually 
and their executive management has been 100% supportive. When the project began, uh, there was a, uh, you know, a section of owners that uh, were not for the project. Uh, obviously, it was a, a large, expensive, invasive project. There are individuals who uh, weren't happy in the beginning, but are now entirely satisfied that the project took place. They saw the uh, degradation of the building. Uh, I was not happy with the results of the meeting, and I was never for the project. My husband, of course, felt it was very important to do, and it would only increase the value of our home. I still was not in favor of it, and um, then I saw when they were tearing down the screening and all the uh, pillars, how rotten everything was, and then it really hit home that this had to be done. I feel the windows and doors are great. Uh, they keep the sound out, and I also feel a sense of comfort because nobody can break in through them, that's for sure. Also, the noise is way down. They trained, we don't hear them anymore. We work alongside with the POA and architects to value engineer the project, and that's what we pride ourselves on. You know, at the end of the day, the biggest satisfaction that I get is to know that the homeowners are 100% happy. When I drive through the development and look at what we've accomplished, that's very, very rewarding to me.